Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick video. So this coffee maker had stopped working. It was a Black & Decker 12 cup programmable. It had this nice display and you could turn the selector on how many ever cups you wanted. The display stopped working. So I tried gaining access to the display, but I was unable to. But I wanted to show you what the inside of this coffee maker looks like. So this is where you put the water. There's the water reservoir. There's the brew head. So I cut the side open where the water reservoir is. So the water's here. It goes down this little hole right here. And then it comes down this tube to the bottom of the coffee maker. Now on the bottom of the coffee maker, it's got this heating element. This horseshoe is what heats up the water. So it's gonna come in here, get heated up to a steam, real boil, real hot. It's gonna get shot out this tube here. And if you follow it, this tube is inside another chamber. It comes up here to the bottom of the brew head and it comes out and that's where your hot water comes out to go on top of your coffee. So you can take the bottom off. There's some screws, but that's about all you can take apart is you can gain access to the bottom. Now, some of the screws are underneath the little rubber feet. You got to pull the rubber feet off and then you can gain access to the screws but there's not much you can change. Um, these things really are not meant to be worked on. If you had a hose that was leaking, uh, you can maybe change the hose or, or just reattach it. I have heard of some coffee makers like these hose, hoses come unattached, so that would be one way to fix your coffee maker, but this one will be a little harder to gain access to because I had to cut the size of them. But like I said, you can't, these coffee makers just really are not made to be taken apart. And especially especially the control panels you know these things once they stop working you know you're pretty much done there's then this uh, there's the warming plate and the warming plate is kept warm by that, that's a little heater for the warming plate and then it does have this circuit card right there so it's got these relays and kind of a circuit card. I guess you possibly could change that maybe. But it's got this ribbon cable that goes up to the control panel. So again, just a quick video. Um, just wanted to show you the inside of this coffee maker. And I've got another video where I compare it to all these other coffee makers. You'd be surprised. They all pretty much look the same on the inside. So again, this is just a dad. Quick video on this Black & Decker 12-cup coffee maker on the inside. If you could, please like and subscribe.